Now let us start the second lesson for drill two. The objective of this second lesson is that after the completion of this presentation, you must be able to perform the different movements of wrists, facings, and manual of arms. Though you may not be able to handle a wooden rifle, yet it is a must for you to familiarize with the procedures on how to manipulate a wooden rifle. This section contains procedures for executing the manual of arms with M14 rifle in conjunction with the individual and unit drill movement. This is a prototype M14 rifle. Basically, M16 rifle is the basic infantry weapon but nowadays, it is R4 as the basic weapon of the basic infantry rifleman. However, R4 is not yet available for the reservist. It will be the M60 rifle who will be given to the reserve force after all members of the active forces have their own M14 rifle, uh, have their own R4 rifle. Again, in reality, you will be holding an M1 prototype rifle garan. At the halt, all movements are initiated from order arms or sling arms, which are the position of attention with the rifle. Meaning, normally, all movements in manual of arms like the facings started from position of attention. This time you will be executing a position of attention with rifle. A cadence similar to what we use in uh, marching, depending on how many numbers involved are in in the sequence. So all precision movement are executed in quick time. Like when you are marching, you are executing it with one two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In manual of arms, if the execution requires four steps, the same cadence. Like example further, harap sa kanan, rap. One, two, three, four. But the movements of that specific command will be Explain later. For drill purposes, the modified magazine is carried in the rifle at the command agapta or isakbata. Meaning, because we are holding a wooden rifle, we assume that that wooden rifle has a magazine that is carried in the rifle, especially at the command agapta, wherein we have to consider the position or location of the magazine in the rifle at, at the command isak bata. That is what I would like to imply to you that the modified magazine is carried in the rifle at the command agapta or isak bata. When we are forming the unit and soldiers is at arm, soldiers will double time towards the formation holding the rifle at port arm. How do, how do you do it in fourth arm? That will be explained later. Movements for short distance are executed from other arms or trail arm at preparatory command. Meaning, you can move your unit or soldiers can move at trail arm or bit bits and data only for a short distance, not exceeding 20 meters or not exceeding 20 steps distance. Facing movements are resulted from other arms or sling arms. Like harap sa kanan, harap sa kaliwa, harap sa likod. All those movements originated from soldier at attention or shoulder at attention with sling arms. Movements for long distance 
Long distance mean more than 20 steps are executed with rifle carried at right shoulder arms in cadence. So before a leader command pasulungkad, first he must see to it that his men is at shoulder, right shoulder arms. He will command sa kanang balikat ta pasulong kad. That is if you will be marching more than 20 steps for long distance. But if below 20 steps, short distance, you can carry your rifle at bit bit sa data. In halting, as soon as the unit halt, the rifle is to be brought to all their arms in cadence. Example, the squad leader command, Tilap to Ibaba ta. Every time the unit halt, they must be brought to other arms. Do not let your unit stand for a long time in kanang balikat. Unless otherwise, that standing of a soldier at kanang balikat is prescribed in a ceremony wherein they have to stand for a longer time with rifle on their shoulder. But if it is not so specified, every time you hold your unit, bring the rifle to order arms. Always command, Ibaba ta. And the next time around, you wanted to proceed with your marching. Again, you command, Kanang balikat ta. Pasulong kad. Now, port arms is the key position assumed in most manual of arms. We will teach you how to execute port arms or kanang balikat. From there, all other manual of arms execution can be taken if a soldier is at port arm. The manual of arms movement are combination of the positions of attentions and rifle executions. Before the business of having a manual of arms or pagsasanay sa paghawak ng sandata, the word pagsasanay sa paghawak ng sandata will be given. Upon hearing the term, take note, you have to execute by command the different manual of arms. Series of movements na ina. However, before we do the manual of arms, we will execute individual movement with arms. Take note of these rules and regulations in executing manual of arms. Unless otherwise indicated, the following are the rules applied for manual of arms. Usually, you may hear the term at the balance that refers to a point on the rifle, be it M14 or M1, just in front of the trigger housing. That is the balance of the rifle. As shown in the picture, a soldier holding the rifle with his left hand at the balance. Sa tunga, tunga in between the rifle. Whenever a position is described, when you heard the word, hold the rifle diagonally across your body, the picture prescribed that the soldier is holding the rifle at the balance diagonally across his body. The rifle barrel is up by sectioning his neck and left shoulder in between his neck and the left shoulder. The rifle butt, take note, is front of the right side. That will not protrude on your right side. That is the rifle diagonally across the body. There are other terms you should know. Hold the rifle on the upper handguard. As shown in the rifle or in the picture, the, ref, the soldier is holding the rifle at the balance. That space above his left hand is the upper handguard. Yung sa bandang itaas ng wooden rifle. 
Just above the left hand is the lower hand guard. If you can observe, there is a sling. Above the sling is the upper hand guard. And within the sling, just above the left hand of a soldier holding the trifle is a lower hand guard. What is the small of the stock? The small of the stock is the space between the trigger housing or the trigger of the rifle and the butt. Yung curve therein. The one that you hold with your, left, with your right hand during the agapta is the small of the stock. So that's, those are the terms that usually here in rifle manual of arms. Diagonally across the body. Hold the rifle at the upper handguard. Hold the rifle at the lower handguard. Check your right hand at the small of the stock. Those are the terms that we should be aware of so that we may have the same frequency when we are there on the field. The cadence for rifle movement is quick time. The word is quick in that is not double time. There is a word double time. That, that word is quick time, meaning do not delay your movement from the previous execution to the next. As counted, example, one, two, three, four. That is the cadence. Not that, huh? this is a wrong cadence. The wrong cadence is one, two, three, four. That is a wrong cadence. That should be equally spaced in between. Proper number of seconds interval. One, two, three, four. If the movement of a rifle manual involves Seven counts, like example in Siasata, seven counts yan. Your cadence of movement will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tuloy tuloy yan with proper interval. That is the cadence. Hindi parang ati atihan. Hindi parang ginasapote mo ang rifle. Okay? There is a suggested required number of seconds between execution. That is the cadence of the rifle. The manual of arms is sought at a halt. Of course, unless otherwise you are in a fancy drill. A fancy drill are movements wherein Manual of arms can be executed while you are marching. But normally, we seldom practice and execute fancy drill. The normal drill movement is taught in the field for a ceremony or review. So, we all study manual of arms while we are at a halt. Nakat position of attention kita at order arms, then there we begin the study of manual of arms. Any positions of manual of arms may be ordered from previous position by giving a suitable command. Meaning, your last position is kanang balikat, right shoulder arm. Left shoulder arm can be given from right shoulder arm. Now you are at Left shoulder arm, nakakaliwang balikat ka na. Ibabata or other arms can be given from left shoulder arms. And you should be familiar with the movements. Another example, from right shoulder arm, tanghalta can be given. Nakakanang balikat ka, then mamove ikaw as commanded in tanghalta. That can be, but the proper movement from kanang balikat to tanghalta should be performed. That is what we mean that any position of manual of arms may be ordered from a previous position by giving 
a suitable command. But there are some positions which requires tikas pay nga as suggested that movement shall be taken from tikas pay nga. But not all because there are some previous positions that you can proceed with the next movement in manual of arms. Example, Tindig Paluwag can be given from Tikas Penga. However, a leader can direct Tindig Paluwag while the soldier is attention. That is what we mean. That any position of manual of arms may be ordered from a previous position by giving a suitable command. When executing movements in the rifle manual, the movements are executed smartly and snappily. Like when you are marching, you march snappily, you march smartly. With your heads looking forward, do not stop down. With no extra movement, with no extra noise, be specific with your execution. That is what we mean when we say executing movements in the rifle, the movements are executed smartly and snappily. And command has something to do with the smartness and snappness of movement. Because if the command is smartly and snappily given, the response of soldiers are also smart and snappy. Like example, the command is Kanang balikat ta. There, your response is smart and snappy. Precise, strong, and exact movement. But if the command is harap sa kanan na, so ang movement mo malagway man because you response to the command. But if you command harap sa kanan your movement is as quick, as smart, as snappy with force like the command. In practice of manual of arms, you have to practice it correctly. Correct practice make perfect. When you do not practice it correctly and you practice the other way around in manual of arms, you better go home. Walang mangyayari. Because sinuturuan natin ang kaditin natin ng mali. Then pagdating ng araw na may tactical inspection, doon. Doon tayo mag-overtime. Why do the overtime when you still have time? Have a correct practice. And when time comes for inspection and evaluation day, you can do it properly. Welcome to the field will come to CPU or OTC parade ground. Some of you are Centralians from high school. Some of you may be living within Central Philippine University or outside the perimeter of Lopisina Street, Haro University outside of Central Philippine University. You have the idea how your parade ground looks like. There, if we are on face-to-face, -face, no Central Young Cadets is excused from that field during Saturday. You must be able, kahit kaunting panahon, to stay within the field. So that, like the cadet in the picture, you may be able to stand properly at attention. There you have enough space. You are at attention from head to foot. From head, you are looking forward. You do not smile. You have a square shoulder. Paibaba tayo, your hands grip on your sides. That is what we mean by no daylight passing. His left arms, the thumb of his left palm is aligned with the trim of the trouser. Close on the left side. The rifle, the right hand holding the rifle, close on the right side. Pababa tayo. Walang space in between the legs. Close together. Pababa pa rin tayo. 
the hill of the combat boats, the hill close together, the toes of the combat boats is 45 degrees from each other. And the toe of the rifle bat, mayroong toe ang rifle bat nyo, meron din hill, like you. You have, the, you have your heel on your foot. You have your toe on your foot. The rifle has a toe. The rifle has a heel. So in studying attention, the heel of the rifle are the toe. The toe of the rifle and your toes are aligned. That is how you do it at attention. And when you are viewed from the side, from the left side, that is how, this is how you look like. This is the picture of you when you are holding the rifle at attention on the left side. The rifle is aligned with your body. You are still looking straight forward. So you try to practice the thing in front of the mirror. That is how a soldier perform the attention with rifle. Next, this is a tanghalta or present arm. This is originally executed from attention or order arms. This is a two count movement. One, two. And the command is tanghal ta. So at the first count, you bring the rifle to your front in that manner as shown. Observe the position of the right hand at the upper hand guard and the position of the left hand at the balance. That is count one. You are looking forward. The length of the barrel doon sa harap ng kanyang mata should be aligned. The middle of the barrel, there is a bayonet stud that should be aligned in between your eyes. That muscle, the top of the barrel, should not be above your head. Aligned in a sa imo sight between your two eyes. The second picture shows how a soldier stand at tanghalta at the sides. The rifle aligned on the body with the rifle butt little bit swinging forward from your knees. Hold the rifle with your fingers close together as if now you do not want that rifle to be taken away from you either by force or whatever so that the rifle will not be uh, incidentally dropped by madagdag, mahulog sa ground. It is very unbecoming. Stand at attention, hold the rifle proud and confident because you are at tanghalta. Without the rifle, your movement is pugay kamay na. Now, let us have the next picture. The aliskopia. This is the how the aliskopia is done and the balikopia is done properly. First, the soldier is at attention. On the first picture, meron sang headgear, meron sang eyeglass. The command is aliskopia na! At the preparatory command, aliskopia quickly, you hold the visor of your headgear with your right hand at the center. Like in picture number two. At the command, na, smartly remove your headgear and drop your right hand on your sides, holding your headgear on that manner. You are still looking forward. You are standing erect. That is Ariscopia Na. I repeat, ah, from attention, the command is Ariscopia Na. How do you do it? Ariscopia Hold the visor with your left hand. Na. 
drop your right hand on the sides holding your headgear. Now let us go to balik kopya, return headgear. From the position of attention, holding your headgear with your right hand at your right side, the command is balik kopya. Na! At the preparatory command, balik kopya. Balik kopya. Put your right, your headgear on your head, like in picture number one. He is holding his headgear at the visor on his head. Quickly, without any cadence number. Quickly, fix the back portion of your headgear and fit it, fit it on your head. It might be that wrong position ang likod sang imo nga kano. So, if it mo, just in one count, and return your right hand on your visor. So, the movement, one, two, and three, is having a single count only. Balik ko piya, one, two, return, kamot. Then, at the command na position of attention. I see again, walang specific na numbering nga 1, 2, 3, 4 sa balik kopya. Only 1, 2. I see again, balik kopya. Head gear on your head. Hands at the back. Back to front. At the command. Na! Down your, down your arms. Practice that inside or in front of the mirror. If you are holding a rifle, that will be done with the left hand because your right hand is holding the rifle and all that is movement the same except that you will be removing your headgear with your left hand. Next. Tika spenga or paridrist. Again, that started from the position of attention. The command is tikas na. That is a one count movement. At the command tikas, that is a preparatory movement. You know what execution is to be carried out. At the command nga together, you thrust the rifle forward with your right hand. You put your left hand at the back like in paradress and you do the side straddle like in take a nga. So one count lang yan. Three movements. At the command, nga! Right, left, at the same time, fit. Together with the left foot as the moving foot. The rifle on your right foot are not moving. Only your left foot. And the second picture is that is you standing at Tika Spenga with the rifle as seen from the back. Your right hand just above your pistol belt, fingers extended and close together. Be familiarized mostly when you are in the field Yon ang palaging command. Tikas! Ha! And the cadets will respond smartly and snaply. Wag na wag kang magbigay na command na tikas nga and the cadets will respond like alam na yan. May hinhin nga movement. Then wala. You cannot blame the cadets because your command needs such Response. Command it properly. Tikas. Ha! One lang na. Snappy na. Next. Start at is. That movement can be originated from attention, but mostly that can be taken from Tikas Penga. Your cadets are already at Tikas Penga as shown in picture number one. They are looking directly to the front. Remember the purpose of tindig paluwag. 
we wanted that our cadets will focus their attention to us as their instructor to for them to say to see for themselves makita nila that what we are saying is what we mean because i've said before yung movement of your hands the smile in your faces yung tindi ng paningin mo can reinforce what you are saying so the command is tindig paluwag ha? tindig paluwag wag yung tindig paluwag mali yon kundi that is a directable tindig paluwag there the cadets will remain tikas pega but they will look at to you with their face hid and their eyes the second picture means the officer is on the right side of the formation nandoon ka possibly sa squad leader right side of the man doing it so when you move to the left that center picture cadet will follow you with her eyes and hid to the left while you are doing you will you are walking while you are talking and you are nagakumpa sa kakabot mo inalantaw ya and the third picture is how you can be seen from the back at tikas penga with your head following your instructor do not go to attention at the command tindig paluwag because you are already at tikas penga remain at tikas penga when you are at attention kapag naka attention ka and the rifle and the command is tindig paluwag do not go to tikas penga what you have to do is remain at attention and look at the one who is talking that is if you are standing at attention and the command tindig paluwag is given but the picture portray, portrays that you are at tikas penga so do not make mistake about that if you are in tikas penga remain at tikas penga if you are at attention remain at attention and perform the tindig paluwag following with your head and eyes the one who is talking okay next at is or paluwag that is given for you to rest in the formation but we do have the pahinga or rest but the difference between at is or rest is different different in the after effect movement at is or paluwag that is the position of the soldier at paluwag the command is taken from tikas penga you are in tikas penga the command is paluwag there you remain at tikas penga cross the rifle with your right hand you, to your front and your left hand is holding your right wrist you are still looking forward while doing that but at the conclusion of the movement of at is you may now move but not so abrupt you cannot talk okay so for you to save energy remain on that position wag ka nang gagalaw pa the second picture is the picture of a soldier at is at the back so the difference between tikas penga is the movement of the rifle the position of the rifle that is paluwag next is pahinga or rest that can be taken from tikas penga the command is pahinga there execute the movement of the rifle like in tin in paluwag but the difference is that you may turn your body right or left you may mo momentarily take your seat pero hindi maglumpiga you cannot talk okay you can kick a little your left hand kay if that is maalay to have the circulation of the blood your left foot lang but you can never move your right foot from the ground you cannot even lift a little an inch from the ground your right foot that right foot with the rifle on the side remain where it is you can only move your left foot either forward backward or side you can glance at the side you can glance at the left you can turn your heads to glance at the back but remain the right foot in place that is pahinga again you cannot talk in the kamakambal because talking in ranks is demeritable sitting in ranks nga nagalumpiga ka sa ground is demeritable man however in penga you can momentary in quick movement you can sit like in squatting then up immediately 
to circulate the blood in your body. So that is the rest. Painga, the difference pa from tindig paluwag, the difference from paluwag. However, at the command, painga, if you do not feel like movement, like moving, kung hindi mo type ang mag galaw na galaw, do not galaw na galaw just for the sake that you look like doing something in response to the command. Remain in your area, in that position as number one picture if you wanted to save your energy. But if really you wanted to have a rest, then follow things what I say. Next, fall out. The command fall out is given for break time. The command fall out may start from attention but mostly ang cadets nakatikas penga because that will be given Mostly, well, you are giving instructions for your cadets before break time. So, nakatikas pa nga sila. Then, you proceed with fall out or tiwalag. When you are directed by your senior officer, first plateau leader, let your men enjoy 10 minutes break. As plateau leader, you face your platoon. If you armed with a rifle, carry your rifle at sling arms or red shoulder arms when you command. And the first command is tilap. Bring your men to attention and the men will go to attention like in picture number two. Then, you may give the directive, men, enjoy your 20 minutes break. Fall out. You're a directive mo. In the commander, that is a directive. Men, enjoy your 20 minutes break. Fall out. Your men will immediately in unison response. Salamat po. Ginoo, or thank you, sir. Then together, face about. Then they will carry the rifle at agapta and move three step forward and hold and fall out. I say again, your men at tikas penga, picture number one. Your command, tilap da. Picture number two, men enjoy your 20 minutes break. Salamat po, ginoo. Face about, pick your number three, and perform agapta, and execute three step forward, pick your number four, hold, and disperse. That is how you enjoy your 20 minutes break during ROTC instruction. Take note, as regulations requires, in every one hour lecture, there is a 10 minutes break time. However, in the actual scenario, we seldom give you break. Ano ang mangyari sa loob ng tatlong oras na ROTC instruction or apat na oras if time to time merong break? So sa loob ng tatlong oras, after one hour, ten minutes, after one hour, ten minutes, after one hour, ten minutes, hindi matapos-tapos ang subject matter. What we did actually here at CPU, we combined the ten into thirty so that you can have your real break time. You can drink water, you can eat your bread, you can have your personal necessities, but you can never go out from CPU premises. You are only allowed to stay within the immediate vicinity. Enough that you can hear the next command. If you love sitting under the Acacia tree, at the size of the playground, you may do so for 20 minutes. If you love going around, you may do so for 20 minutes, but do not go out of the perimeter fence of CPO. You will be given demerit. You will be charged of escape information or taking life outside. I am explaining this to you, though we have not yet enjoy the face-to-face -face, but feel it properly. That is how you are given break for during ROTC instruction. The next picture, Magtipon. Initially, you are there sa Balayo. Have you seen the buildings or trees at the back? You might be there. And a loud sound from the grandstand will be given through the public address. All cadets! Magtipon! Upon hearing that, <coughs> you stand, hold the rifle at agapta, 
like in picture number one, and double time. Do not run. Just move on the double. Okay? Do not run. Marami kayo dyan sa field. So, baka magkabagaan kayo. After enjoying your break, you will enjoy the clinic. No. So, just double time. Going to your formation. Kung saan ka nanggaling before full out, doon ka babalik on that area. So, you report there, start at attention, o stand at attention at agapta, then, baba a rifle, then, verify your alignment, when you have already verified your alignment, that proper distance kayo dyan, down your arms, front side na, front na ang iyong mga ulo, and your eyes, then, without command, go to take a spay nga. Picture 1, picture 2, picture 3 are a series of your movement at the command. Mag-tipon. Double time, hold, baba sa data, verify alignment, down, take a spay nga. Next to that, the plateau leader will command. Tilap, there. If you are at Tikas Penga, remain at Tikas Penga. Picture number three. If you are at attention upon the command of Tikas Nga, then you have to go to Tikas Penga as ordered. If you are at Tikas Penga at the command of Tikas, you go to attention and execute Nga after the command Tikas Nga. If you are at the Kaspainga and at the command, Tilap, the remain at the Kaspainga, of course, the following command is Da. Da, go to attention. I say again, ha? if upon verifying your distance, center, second picture, you will go to the Kaspainga. It's up for you. Or you will be at attention. It's up for you. So whether nakatikas pa nga ka or attention, iisa lang ang next command ng plateau leader. Pulutong or if you're a squad, tilap. So if nakatikas ka, go to tikas pa nga at tikaman tilap. If nakatikas pa nga ka, remain at tikas pa nga. The next command is da. So, at the command, tilap, naka-attention, naka-tikas, pahinga, naka-mutanan, ha? Ang naka-attention, go to tikas, pahinga. Ang naka-tikas, pahinga, remain at tikas, pahinga. The next command is, da! All of you, go to attention. That is how to execute magtipon or full in. Sir, after attention, what? After attention, your unit commanders, of course, will give instruction. That is how we fall in or magtipon. The next, harap sa kanan, right face, executed in that manner. The initial position of a soldier is at attention. Picture number one. However, on picture number one, if you can observe, the rifle is raised approximately four inches from the ground. So that is the initial reaction after the command. Harap sa kanan. Lift up your rifle with your right hand as if you are trailing arms. Nagabit-bit sandata ka. Still, with your right hand holding the rifle close to your body. Still, the left hand remain in that area. Again, still, you are moving or looking forward. That is your response. Harap sa kanan. Preparatory command. Up. At the command. Harap. Picture number two. Turn to your right. Your shoulders, your arms, your arms close to your body. Use the pivot foot, the pivot portion of your right foot. And the heel. And the toe, I should say, toe of your left foot. 
in turning. Picture number two. At picture number three, that is count two in the movement. Two. Close your left foot to your right foot. Again, the rifle is four inches away from the ground. After the conclusion of your left foot to your right foot, without any command, quickly drop your rifle on your right side. So, the harap sa kanan is done in harap sa kanan. Bit, bit. Harap, turn, close, down. Take note, your heads should turn with your feet. Do not execute harap sa kanan na yung ulo mo ha, still remaining to the front when your body is executing right face. Fancy drill ina. Nagapabilin ang lawas. Okay? In a normal situation, you go as directed. Okay, next picture. Tubisyon is harap sa kaliwa. The same movement in harap sa kanan only on the reverse direction. At the command, harap sa kaliwa, raise the rifle. At the command, harap, picture number two, move as yun. Then, close your right foot to your left foot and down the rifle. So, the harap sa kaliwa is done. Harap sa kaliwa, raise, harap, Turn, close, down. The cadence is normal cadence. Harap sa kaliwa, raise, rap. One, two, down. Malagway ha, ang muna kalagway. Hindi nga, one, two, down. Lagway man na sir, hindi ang muna. Kundi, one, two, down. Ang interval palariho. Not that nga one, two, down. Ah, hindi ah muna. That is wrong. Abrupt movement. As advised, the cadence in manual arms is of normal interval, proper interval. So, harap sa kaliwa, raise, harap, one, two, down. The down, the last word down is you down your rifle on the ground. The movement in harap sa kanan is the same. Okay, next. Di harap sa likod or about face. Initially, naka-attention ka. At di command, harap sa likod, bit-bit sa data. At di command, cad, move your right foot at the back only 10 inches maximum. The pivoting part of your foot that time is the heel of your left foot and the toe of your right foot. Let the hands, the arms, let your right arm holding the rifle and your left arm harm close to your body. Wala ina nagahulag that is not swinging. Clip that to your body. And picture number three, you are concluding the about face there. Still, the rifle is four inches away from the ground. With the conclusion of your about face tossed together, arms at the side, you are still looking forward. And the last moment is picture number four. Down your rifle. So, harap sa likod is done in this manner. Harap sa likod. Bit, bit. Rap. One, two, down. Next, let us go to manual of arms. The rest of the arm is done in that manner. You are at attention holding the rifle. The command is, kanan balikat. Ta! That is done in four counts. Executed in this manner. Kanan balikat. Ta! Count one, picture number one. Look at the hands. The position of the rifle in front of the body. Two! Look at your right hand 
and still the position of the right fall in front of your body. Your right hand is at the butt of the right fall. Your left hand still at the balance of the right fall. Three, you bring the right fall on your right shoulder in picture number three manner. Still, you are looking forward. The angle of your left elbow, the position of the rifle on your right hand, the position of your right hand on your right side. And the last is four, or commonly we term as cut. Four, smarty drop your left hand on your sides. That is your final position. So, kanang balikat is done in kanang balikat. Ta! One, first picture. Two, second picture. Three, third picture. Four, fourth picture. You wanted to practice that there in your area? Pwede ka rin. Gamit ka ng uno por dos. Smile on yourself in front of the mirror. Do not borrow live or actual weapons. You are not authorized. Huh? Sir, ang father ko, policeman. So what? Never. Never handle his rifle. But request your father to buy an ono for just for you. But never your rifle. His actual weapon. Do it with anything not actual weapon. If you love doing the manual of arms at your home. Now, the kaliwang balikat. Initially, from order arms, kali, kaliwang balikat. Or, oh, the command is kaliwang balikat. Ta. Picture number one, first count. First movement. Kana, kaliwang balikat. Ta. One. Observe the position of the hands. Two. Observe the position of the hands. So, the kanang balikat and the kanang balikat and first and second step the same movements of your hands. Third, third, your rifle now is positioned on your left shoulder. Look at the execution. Firm. Siguraduha. Exact where now in picture number three the rifle is positioned on your left shoulder. Because after you have executed picture number four, there is no more adjustment. Four, you lower your right hand on your sides. So, kaliwang balikat is done in this manner. Kaliwang balikat. Ta! Picture number one. Two. Picture number two. Three. Picture number three. Four. Or cut. Picture number four. There. The next. Port arm or agata. As I have said while ago, other movements in rifle manual can be taken from port arm. Pwede na naka-port arm ka na, then you proceed to kanang balikat, you proceed to kaliwang balikat, and whatever. But initially, you are at attention. Pick your number one. The command is agap ta! The count one. Pick your number two. Take note the position of the left hand and the right hand. Common to all movement in manual of arms. Two. Picture number three. Yun lang. Nakaagat ta ka na. But you are holding the rifle, both hands firm. Hindi ina makuha from you. Hold it properly, strong and proper. That is agapta. To lower the arms for babata. From agapta, hold your arms or babata. The initial position of a soldier is agapta. Of course. Pick your number two. Move the right hand back to the upper hand guard. Like in the second picture in port arm. Then pick your number three. Lower the arms. Lower the rifle with your right arm at the right side following your left hand. As shown in the picture. Still, the butt of the rifle four inches from the ground. At the last count, bring the rifle to your sides lower and your left hand to your sides. At, at the first practice, do not do it quickly. 
baka matutukan mo yung fingers, nails ni mo, foot, nail ni, foot fingers ni mo. Slowly, determine where is the position of the rifle at or the arm. Slowly. Then, pabalik-balik. Confirm. Down, up, down. If confirm mo na and you have concurred doing it, do it with force. But not with speedy cadence. You tell yourself, down, persona. Up, down, persona. If you have perfected the ground and your hands movement, then combat speed. Series. Down, tira. But on the first practice, slowly but surely, baka you might hit your foot. So as again, aga ta pick your number two. Move, pick your number three. Ibaba ta pick your number one. Move, pick your number two. Move, pick your number three. That is how agapta and babata taken from other arms. Next, inspection arms. Video madogo ito because it requires seven steps. Yet, the po- again, the position of a soldier is at attention. The command is siyasat ta! Done in this manner. Count one. Picture number one. The same movement in kanang balikat, in kaliwang balikat, in agapta, the same movement. Two! You are now in agapta picture number two. Take note. In agapta, where is your left hand located? Where is your right hand located? Three. In picture number three, move your left hand close to your right hand. Take note. The thumb is little bit distance from the four fingers. Because your thumb is grasping, is touching the portion of the rifle on the side. The charging handle. Done. That is count number three. Count four. Ibalik yung left hand ni mo from where it came from. At the upper handguard. So take note. One, first picture. Two, second picture. Three, third picture. Four, fourth picture. Five. Doon na. Nakaposisyon na ang, right, ang left hand ni mo back to the handguard. Looking straight forward. Six. You are looking at your right hand or looking at the receiver wherein the grip of ammo is located. Nagadungok ikaw. Can be seen in the picture. And picture number seven, you return to his up. So, siyasat na is done in this manner. Siyasat. Ta! Picture number one. Two. Picture number two. Three. Picture number three. Four. Picture number four. Five, pick your number five. Six, pick your number six. Seven, pick your number seven. Dahan-dahan lang, practice on mo. One after the other. If you can already perfect the sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then, next, you do it with force. Persa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pag okay na yung confirmation ng movement and yung force added, then apply the speed. Speed da. Dasig. Igo mo na. Ha? Confirm na movement. May persa ka na. Din ang speed. Siya sa at. Ta. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. When you are locking the rifle as in picture number three on the receiver, be sure that your head is lower down. Do on. So that the next time you execute number seven, really can be seen that from head down, nag heads up ka. You do it by sequence. Not that nga tuloy-tuloy as if na nag, nagtango-tango kalandra sa 6 and 7. That should be done with force. That is siya sa ta. Okay? The next shown will be the video. The chronological sequence of movement under arms. Facings. Before the video will be played, these are the sequence. Initially, the soldier is at Tika's painga. Then, command will be given and he will respond as directed. So, the requirements is, alam mo muna yung mga specific execution of the different movements. So, from Tikas Pega, the first command is, Human! Da! Aris kupya! Na! Balik kupya! Na! Tikas! Ha! Tindig! Paluwag! Paluwag! Pahinga! Uman! Ha! Harap! Sakanan! Harap! 
Harap sa kaliwa. Harap! Harap sa likod. Harap! Harap sa likod. Harap! Tiwalag! No, sir, movements at hold other arms. The next video will be manual of arms. Pagsasanay sa paghawak ng sadata. You are not in the area initially because previously, the last command is tiwalag. So, understandably, before this video will be shown, nandoon ka sa kantin, nandoon ka sa tagiliran. You are enjoying your break. Then, you will hear the sound. Cadets! Magtipon! So, you execute that video magtipon. Next command. Human da! Then the officers will say pagsasanay sa paghawak na sa data. Kanang balikat ta! Kaliwang balikat ta! Agap ta! Baba ta Siyasat ta Baba ta Now you are at order arms at attention The officer again will command Siyasat Ta Agap Ta Lumansag What you are going to do upon hearing Lumansag Your response Salamat po, ginoo. You are at agapta. You respond, salamat po, ginoo. Face about, close your about face. Still at agapta. Take three step forward. Still holding the refer at agapta. And after third step, close your red foot and dismiss. So the difference between tiwalag and lumansag is that if you are holding the rifle, there is a command, siyasata, agapta, lumansag. If you have no rifle, the command is tiwalag. All other movements and execution, the same. So these are the two, two video to be shown from without rifle, uh, from, from facings. Mon! Alis ko pyo! No! Balik ko pyo! No! Tikos! No! Tindig! Paluwag! Paluwag! Pahinga! Uman, go! Harap sa kanan! Harap! Harap sa kaliwa! Harap! Harap sa likod! Harap! Harap sa likod! Tiwalag! Magtipon! Uman! Kanang balikot! To! Kaliwang balikot! To! Agap! To! 
Bobo. Tu. Siasat. Tu. Agap. Tu. Bobo. Tu. Lumon. Sug. That ends my presentation. Any questions? If you are not prepared with a question, jot it down and shoot it after your break. If you cannot ask questions, a single question, your officer may ask, you a question missing from our lecture and you're going to answer that query okay thank you enjoy the rest of the day and god bless